next Winter Olympics coming up soon in, in Vancouver, February 2010. Uh, we're going to have an extremely strong contingent of, of athletes going from many different of the Winter Olympic sports uh, with medal contenders in many of them. Uh, I suppose my advice would be to those guys that the Olympics, it only comes around every four years and if you look back through your training diary at how many hours, how much blood, sweat and tears you put into it, the last thing you want to do is get to the Olympics, you know, get too wrapped up in the hype, the enormity of the whole event and lose any of your focus on what you're actually there to do, uh, which I most certainly did in my first Olympics. The thing you don't want to have in the back of your head after the Olympic Games is what if. You know, what if I had have prepared my equipment better? You know, what if I hadn't have spent 10 hours on my feet that day walking around the village or walking around the Olympic city or going to this event prior to my event or going to that party prior to my event? And, you know, the, the what ifs are what you don't want to have in your mind once the Olympics are over. If you maintain your focus on what you're there to do and you don't get your desired result, well then at least you know that there was no what ifs.